Hi everyone, how are you doing? Well, we're all returning to a little bit of normality now after this very long year. Uh, my children and most of the children in the UK are now back at school, so my head is a little less busy. And thank you to Canon because they've sponsored my film today and we're going to be talking about the benefits of being able to film, to vlog, to communicate over this very unique kind of year. And for some of us, we're going to be still working from home for a long time. So whether it's makeup for conference calls or as a makeup artist working with celebrities on a red carpet, I'm going to run through some really great tips on how to kind of balance different textures and products that work really well through the lens. So having this channel for me has been a huge benefit, actually giving many benefits because I have really, really attached myself to you guys as a community and it's been a pleasure for me to teach and communicate with you, but also you've been such great company and you've given me a purpose to say, right, I need to film a film for everyone next week has kind of made me sort of like brush myself down and go, right, let's think about what we're going to do and how I'm going to, to help everyone and support everyone. And on the other side of it, I've really, really appreciated all your comments and it's just kind of kept us globally together as a family and that has been really, really special. So a lot of us have had so much time to kind of think about things and reflect, you know, that work-life balance thing. I wonder whether some of you have thought, oh, I'd like to do that. You know, I might not be talking about makeup, you know, you might have a love of flowers or plants or whatever, but I can say if you are thinking about it, then definitely do it because it really does give you so much back. So I would highly recommend the Canon G7X Mark II vlogging kit. So it comes with a Joby tripod stand, SD card, battery, and obviously the camera itself. So I'm a creative person, not a technical person. Um, and I, you know, when I first started vlogging, I did use my phone, but now I put my phone in the drawer and I just concentrate um, and use my camera because the quality is so much better. So obviously, if you're filming yourself, you need a camera that's got a tilt up touch screen and the autofocus. If you're showing anyone anything to camera, it keeps it in focus. So as you know, I like to film in daylight because I like to keep it real. And you can see how the light goes up and down, but you can see how brilliantly the camera just adapts to that and kind of evens everything out. If you want any more information about this camera, as usual, it's always in the description box. And if you have started a new channel in this time, please let me know because it has been a very unique time and it's really lovely to see how we've all adapted. Okay, so in terms of makeup, and I just put on a little bit of base. And again, I always talk about face shaping. So having a concealer that's one shade lighter is really, really important because that really helps to highlight those parts of your face. This is the new By Terry Hyaluronic Concealer and it has a really big, fat brush to apply the concealer. Now you can see how light this is, but also how sheer it is. And I kind of wanted to use this in my sort of filming makeup to you is that it's really sort of easy to sort of get the product onto the areas of the face that you want to sort of perfect. But again, because you've got a little bit of base on, the product slips and migrates into the skin without looking too obvious. Now this is packed with hyaluronic acid. So for instance, if you had a quick Zoom meeting or you were gonna be filmed for something, just applying your concealer in, this, in these areas, so it's still around the T-zone area, under your eyes, in between the brows, just around your nose, even if you don't need the coverage, it's just nice because it starts to really amplify the shape of your face and that just kind of enhances your natural beauty. Now I've got quite a red chin here, so I need to kind of eliminate any of the redness there, but rather than doing a whole face of makeup and covering it into, it's actually when I speak to a lot of brides actually, and they're being filmed and photographed, they're like, oh, we need to have the base really heavy. No, you don't. You just need to have those areas of your face that are going to, maybe look oily or slightly imperfected and um, get those parts of your face nice and perfected and the rest can just have a little bit of color and a little bit of glow. Um, so I'm going to be using the new NARS Air Matte and this one is called Darling. Now I've chosen this color because it's a sort of like a very sort of peachy pink and this is just such a lovely way to wear color. If you're blush shy, if you find that blush reads quite easily on your skin or you don't kind of like that sort of flush on your skin, this formula is absolutely perfect because it is super, super sheer. And it just gives you a wash of color. Now you know how much I love blush and I love blusher because it really kind of amplifies the juiciness of your cheeks and the health of your cheeks. This formula is so soft and creamy. Also, if you're someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, 
uh, maybe you've got quite freckly skin or maybe you've been blessed with brilliant skin all your life you've never really sort of got into the habit of wearing any foundation now if for instance you were going to start a vlog but you wanted to have great skin you might just use a translucent powder and a blush like this that is super super translucent makeup nowadays doesn't have to be super heavy it can be light as well so i've had my brow i've sorry i've had my brows done i've put my brows on if only we could get our brows done these days okay so i want to talk to you about powders now powders is a really big deal when filming okay um i've got a few here i've got my mac studio fix which is a brilliant brilliant powder which i use to cover up any blemishes um, because it's really really solid and packed full of pigment so it covers anything i'm just changing color i'm now using the c2 and i'm going to use the make the make brush just to really perfect these areas so for instance if my actress was just about to walk out in front of a a red carpet then I would make sure that all these areas of her face between her brows either side of the nose and just underneath that chin were mattified so that if she was you know outside a long time or she got very hot or the flash you know is very bright um, if those areas of your face are matte you can pretty much get away with it it's just if your whole face is glossy it's too much the by Terry hyaluronic powder I'll just give it a little bit clean um, again is super super sheer so if you want something that's very natural because you don't have to have a lot of heavy makeup for filming you can have a very light delicate makeup it's all about those types of textures and maybe I need to kind of categorize those for you this is brilliant if you just want to knock back a little bit of shine or maybe your eyelids are a little bit oily and you just want to basically give them a nice smooth surface and again with this powder it just feels so so soft another powder that's amazing for filming is hourglass the ambient powder again it's a multi pigmented powder and this just gives you an absolutely beautiful um, sheen now maybe I'll just show you with my brush you can't really get a sort of flat finish with this powder can you see on my forehead it still just gives a very lovely sheen. Our hourglass did the most beautiful, um, metallic y, soft lit powders. You never look cakey, you never look flat and velvety. So, again, if you have maybe slightly dry skin um, and you don't want to look too matte, this is another option and it will pretty much last your lifetime. It's such a nice base. Now I'm feeling that I'm quite made up with a bit of blush. I'm just going to break that up. And it's that time of year again where the It Cosmetics Ombre Radiance comes out. I just love this. It's a great transitional bronzer. Applied with a tapered brush, it's going to just break up the foundation base I have. And again, it's very much like the Hourglass Ambient. You can't see it too much, but it just gives you that really lovely soft shape to your face but it's not heavy at all. Again, because there's just so many different types of pigments and it's slightly metallic, but it's really soft. Just try and keep it under the chin, just across the brow, blending into the brush, into the hairline. And I just like to do it just a little bit across my nose. It's very soft and subtle, but it just takes the edge of the paleness from my skin. Now, I've talked about the Pixie palette before, and I love this palette. And I'm just trying to explain to you how easy it is to lift your eyes. Now, if you've got a very small socket, you kind of want to go for the low slung liner. So you always want to put some darkness under your eyes. But if you want to make your eyes slightly bigger, you just need to use a tone, for instance, like this, that is just slightly darker, sort of three to four shades darker than your skin tone to really open out your eye. So just using the tip of the brush here to make my eye just look a little bit more awake it's keeping the socket clear, but just breaking up that space. Now, all of us have got different eye shapes. I, I appreciate that, and it's really difficult. And when we can, we'll get lots of different eyes <laughs> in, into the studio, and um, we'll do lots of different faces to show you how to make different eyes up. And if you've got darker skin, then you just need to go, obviously, darker than your skin tone. But for my skin tone, this works perfectly. So you do that nice, kind of very soft warmth over your socket, and then you just blend it through. Nothing that is very technical, it's just like a very kind of tonal shaping around your eye. But it does make a huge difference, basically because it breaks up any of the same tone in your face. So when someone says, oh, you look a bit pale, you look a bit pasty, it's just because you're probably washed out, but just adding that warmth brings out the color of your eyes beautifully. So that's a great tip. Another great tip is to use a soft cajole liner in an off-white. 
Now this one is by Max Factor and it is super, super soft. And just apply this along the waterline because it will take the pink out of your eye. Be careful not to apply it to your lashes. That's really key because otherwise it gives yourself like gray eyelashes, which obviously it's not a look that you want to spend time creating. So that really tends to brighten your eyes, make your eyes look bigger if that's the look you're going for. Again, using a mascara that has a, a wand with empty channels in can really help you shape your eye. So I'm just giving you tips here, key tips that will kind of give you quick, um, quick eye shaping effects with zero effort. And one of these, like the Pillow Talk, this is Pillow Talk, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara, I've talked about this a lot, will do. You know, same as the Urban Decay and um, the Beauty Pie mascara, which I love. All have these great empty channels so that when you put the part of the wand that has lots of the mascara and no bristles, it really frames your eye, almost giving you that sort of tight eyelinered look, you know, that quickly. I'm not the type of person who wants to spend, you know, a good few minutes putting on mascara. I like to get a mascara on quickly and effectively and to give your eyes shape whatever age you are, having a nice coat of mascara which really helps to frame your eyes is brilliant. Now I want to introduce you to one of my favourite, favourite lipsticks at the moment. They're new by Hourglass. Look at this packaging. They are so beautiful and they are refillable. Um, the shade, not surprisingly, um, is like a peachy shade and it's again a really beautiful transitional colour. It's called I'm Looking. The reason I love this, just showing you, is that like all the lipsticks that I recommend to you is that it's got such a nice colour payoff and it gives me that instant accent to the colour I want on my lips, uh, but it's super hydrating. Mm. No, that took about, what, 12 seconds to put that on? It really enhances the natural shape of my mouth. It makes my lips look bigger. It feels really comfortable and I just love this colour. It's actually turned out to be kind of quite a nice peachy fresh makeup and I'd be very happy if my makeup looked like that um, when I was filming or if I was filming because to me that looks fresh and healthy but perfected, especially with the skin. So I hope that's helpful. Um, so any other questions about vlogging, filming, having your own channel, what type of makeup to wear when you are being filmed, then I'd love to have a conversation with you below in the comments section. Um, everything that I've talked about is linked below as always. And please, everyone stay safe. And thank you for helping me get through this last year. Bye for now.